friends, welcome back to your channel Bova Space. I hope you all are doing good. I frequently get emails and comments from my viewers asking suggestions on how they can create space in their non-modular kitchen, especially in a rented apartment. So I decided that in today's video, I will show you five of my all-time favorite kitchen organizers that can give your non-modular kitchen the convenience, style and the much needed functionality of an expensive modular kitchen. These organizers are perfect for any size. I'll share the links in the description box but before I begin I request you to subscribe to my channel and push the bell notification so that you don't miss out on my videos. So without much delay let's get started. My first favorite pick is the multifunctional corner plate rack. Although it's called a plate rack, I use it to store almost everything in my kitchen. The big reason I use it is to keep different sizes of plates well organized. I can easily take out the plates without ripping them off while I'm trying to remove them. Next, I use it a lot in my crockery rack. If you have seen my crockery rack organization video, you'll remember how extensively I have used this to keep crockery set safe and neat. Now, let me tell you that this organizer is not just for plates. If you have enough vertical space in your cabinet, this is a perfect bed to stack a lot of kitchen utensils like I do. All the vessels fit beautifully well into this cabinet. Now, not just for utensils and plates, back in India, I used to keep this in the corner of my countertop to keep a few essentials like knives, pressure cooker vessels and such small things handy. You could use this to even stack your pots and pans. The best part of this organizer is that it is available in many many varieties. You have the bamboo ones, the wired ones, stainless steel, acrylic. Choose the one that suits your style. Uh, like I said, the links are in the description box. Please measure and then buy. Don't buy just like that. Moving on, my second favorite organizer is a vertical plate track. This is my favorite to store pans and griddles. It's an excellent option if you don't have too much of the vertical space but if you have a cabinet that's very deep inside. So if you have a plate rack that is lying unused and you don't know what to do of it, I suggest you take it out to organize and store all of your pans. It's going to be perfect. Also, if you think you have a huge set of unmanageable lids that need a storage space, you could well try this option. If you have seen my previous kitchen organization videos, you might remember that I had created a pull-out shelf from a piece of plank that was lying around and repurposed a plate rack to keep my pans and griddles or the tawas. Well friends, if you want to know how I did that, please do let me know in the comment section. I'll at least try to write a quick blog to show how you could do the same pull-out thing that I did. Vertical plate rack mostly comes in powder coated iron and stainless steel. It's also available in bamboo variety but for the purpose of strength, I would stick to the stainless steel type. Now one of my favorite organizers is the shelf divider. I don't know why I did not put it in the first rank but most of the times even if I want there is little scope to add extra shelf. Sometimes it is not even possible to adjust the ex existing shelf. In such a situation, this vertical shelf divider has always come in handy. These shelf dividers fit into any narrow space and are multi-purpose. I have used this in my kitchen cabinet to store spice bottles. I have used them in the crockery rack to arrange my serving sets. I am also using them to keep my onion and potato basket stored in my pantry. And guess what? Every time I do a buffet arrangement, I love this to create an elevation. Please don't forget to watch my uh, party table setup videos. Now, again, just like the corner plate organizer, the vertical shelf divider is available in many varieties. Bamboo, wired, stainless steel, acrylic. And like I said before, choose the one that suits your kitchen and your style. Let us now talk about my fourth favorite organizer. The over the door lid organizer is a miracle if you want to use the unused door space of the clo closed cabinet. I have one which you can store two of the lids but you can get the bigger ones that have storage options for many more lids. Let me now talk about my fifth most favorite organizer. 
for all the junk that a kitchen drawer can really accumulate over a period of time drawer organizers are the best to keep things sorted but what if the regular drawer organizer is too big or too small for your drawers or you realize that it isn't really solving your purpose well then the adjustable drawer dividers or the expandable drawer dividers are the best way to utilize drawer space it gives enough flexibility and comfort to keep things sorted organized and neat now as for its availability i am sorry but i have to repeat what i said for the plate racks and the shelf dividers the adjustable drawer dividers are available in many varieties go for the one that suits your drawer but i would prefer something that is more metallic or something that is made of bamboo so friends this was a small list of all my all time favorite kitchen organizers what is your best pick don't forget to leave in your answers in the comment section below and until the next time stay organized stay productive and stay happy but having said that i haven't forgotten my promise it's time now for me to tell you what's this indian fabric that i'm wearing on me today in my video today i am wearing a pure bhagalpuri silk dupatta which has a very intricate work of peacock feathers on it i really love this it just stays in place the bright color combination uh, with a very earthy look and does not make it boring this was a gift from my mom long long back this is my favorite dupatta and i have clubbed it with uh, this alloy jewelry that i thought goes well with it so that's about it thank you so much for watching please don't forget to leave your comments about this uh, dupatta and if you have something else from this region that you really feel that i should be knowing please don't forget to put it in the comment section thank you bye bye